so I am back. You may be wondering why I'm not in my main gear. Well, because today we are going to be building some farms and doing some fun stuff uh, that I don't really want to, uh, you know, destroy my armor. But notice something awesome. Level 49. Yes, I did stream a little bit and we ran three more vaults, but uh, we didn't quite get very far. It was stuck at level 48 and I was about halfway through. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to eat some vault burgers to get me there. And it only took about a stack of vault burgers. And well, look where I landed. I am so close. I'm literally a burger or so away from level 50. That's right. We are going to run a vault today. We are going to try and use our key as well. But this right here, or at least I'm going to try. I may not. We're going to talk a little bit about this thing. Um, but uh, first, let's hit level 50 by eating a vault burger. Or two. Or three or four. Oh, we're level 50. Look at that. Now, what am I going to do now that I hit level 50? First things first, we're going to go in here and we are going to buy the things that I have been wanting to buy for a while. And that is one point in speed, one point in haste. And I have one point left over. I'm going to save it for right now because I don't quite know if I want to spec into this, which I actually can't. This requires two. I don't know what I want to spec into, but we did unlock two things that we can go after eventually, so long as I hit five more levels, and that is going to be Artisan or Treasure Hunter. Now, I'm thinking Artisan is probably the way to go. Treasure Hunter will give us permanent luck levels, but Artisan, man, this seems really nice too, allowing us to always get higher level gear, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be rolling common gear now or getting common gear out of the vault now that we're hitting level, level 50 or have a chance to. So, I don't know. Artisan seems really <laughs> nice to get. Requires five levels, and that's gonna be something we're gonna have to work towards. Soul Hunter can also be increased for two, giving us a bonus of 50. Uh, speaking of soul hunting, what do we got? There's a skill orb. Gain an additional skill point and increase our power. Wow, that is expensive. <gasps> Another vault diamond block. So, during the live stream, I bought Another full time in block. And there's another one available right now. I'm buying it. I'm 100% buying another vault. Wow. We have, I think that puts us at the ability to make seven, seven research points. We're getting up there. I am, I'm pushing this. Like this is, this is a lot of fun. This just unlocked. I know a lot of you guys are like, ah, oh, episode 30. Is that how long you're going to take this? This is probably going to be a lot longer of a series than episode 30. I'm just going to make that clear right now. This is this is going to be a little bit longer. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, so, uh, yeah, Vault Burgers are really nice for getting that nice little boost in levels. So uh, now that I've hit this level, I want to kind of reflect and take a look at uh, some things that I, I have. Maybe wondering, what is this over here? Um, so I decided to go ahead and place out all of my ores so I can get a nice good look at how much I actually have of things. And this is a pretty good representation of how much ore I have, right? Now, I am missing one ore, and this is right here. Let's see, or I am missing this right here, the, the Gorgonite. I'm missing Gorgonite ore. That often reminds me of something else. Um, so I'm missing that, but I do have nine of them in my inventory. So I do have a, enough to make like nine pogs, but everything else I have. So uh, there's a reason I placed all these down. Um, I want to look today and I want to go hunting for a few things and also think about what farms we need. So uh, moving forward, things are going to get pretty, pretty expensive. Um, if we take a look here, uh, this is actually pretty expensive. It requires almost a thousand glass, uh, required a bit of quartz and stuff like that. This is actually not a bad one but they are going to start getting more and more expensive as we go on. Um, and that is going to be pretty rough. So I need to start thinking about farms, more farms. Over here, I did set up a sort of bee shrine farm. This is tiny, but I do want to automate this and that's going to take um, some doing. I think we can automate this fairly easy with uh, even vanilla using shears. I think we can do that. Um, if not shears, we could use potentially um, modular routers. 
that could that could easily work as well. Um, but yeah, also turtles. Like I need to think about maybe a turtle farm and also an iron golem farm. There's a lot of farms that are going to need to be made real soon. But uh, anyways, that's what we're going to work on today. Um, after we go and start looking for tomes. Uh, tomes are something that uh, I was uh, kind of referencing to here. I want to find tomes, which are which come from Quark, and they can be found in the uh, the end strongholds. So if we go there and we go to and we find the libraries, they could be there. So we're gonna do a lot of flying, hopefully today. And uh, if we get fortune, that would be really great because then we can actually get a higher level fortune on our pick here, giving us fortune four plus an extra level of fortune that we already get from our buff that we get from here, giving me an extra level of fortune, giving us fortune five. So that way when we break these, we will get a fortune five buff, allowing us to have a lot more resources to move forward. I think this is all a good plan. And well, let's go ahead and head to the stronghold and uh, see what it has in store for us. So thankfully our little mini map helps us a lot in discovering exactly where some things are at like a library room. Now it's either going to be above or below, I think. Aha, it is below. We pop down here and thank goodness I didn't fall in that lava. <laughs> this is an awful room, honestly, with that giant lava pool right there. Oh no, is there any bookshelves in here? So yeah, what we're looking for is, oh, the bookcases and they're gone. That's kind of a bummer on this room. Hopefully we find another one and there's some other chests in here because this has absolutely no ch- Oh, there's a chest. Ah, and here's tomes. So this is what I'm looking for, these right here. So they max out and go up one from the max. Look at that. Loyalty, which uh, brings it up, I believe, to four. And lo no loyalty is normally three, right? And luck of the sea is, it brings it to four, which is normally like I said, three. Um, pretty, pretty powerful right there. Yeah, we need to find more of these. So this should be leading me to another room, hopefully not encased with lava. A little bright in here. Oh, no, perfect. Right here. And, ooh, efficiency. Ooh, that makes it efficiency six. That actually could be kind of powerful in itself. Um especially combined with our extra haste that we have. That could be kind of powerful. And here's the other chest and nothing. So how do we go about finding more? Cause usually there's like two of these libraries, right? Per stronghold. Well, well, we have to go and find another stronghold. <laughs> yep, a whole other stronghold. We have to go through the whole process of throwing the pearl. Yep, and uh, until we find another one. And that's what this is going to be all about. Well, I seen a ship and I decided, well, I was going to head and take the map out of here anyways. So, you know, might as well go ahead and, and mine this loot up. Uh, let's see, line up this chunk. We'll do nine right here. So should be right down here. Yeah, just like that. Never fails. Look at what I just stumbled upon literally as I'm looking for another stronghold. Yeah, th this is a, a place to farm mushrooms, 100%. This is a really good find because I have had issues with finding mushrooms. Like uh, the only place I've found them so far is in the dark uh, forest, but this is perfect because now I can come here and farm them. So here we go, right into this. It's just like I'm, I'm playing vanilla again, going right after uh, another stronghold. Gonna go fight the, the dragon. <laughs> but literally not, just after some books. All right, looks like the there's a part of a library right there. I'm gonna make my way over there. If I, hopefully I don't fall into lava though. And here we go. Let's hope for luck. Wow, there's a bunch in here. Thorns, <gasps> there's the fortune. Yes, perfect. I mean, we're golden. That's all we really need, right? <laughs> We get a lot of stuff on this run. There was four in that one. That's insane. All right, let's pop into this one. And sharpness, 
and another fortune. Uh, what? Okay. I mean, I'm happy with that. Don't get me wrong. I am, I am actually happy with this. You know what? I'm going to also grab up all these cobwebs while I'm here as well. So even though we got everything we need, I still want to check this room right here and see what all it has. A feather falling max, got a compass. All right, let's see what's up top. Where's the chest over here? Be something good. Thorns, another, that's a looting and a sharpness. Uh, yes, please. I will take the looting. Wow. So now that I'm back, Oh yeah, we're about to do this. So, this is gonna be giving me a one up on fortune, giving me fortune four, or, or sorry, this is fortune, yeah, three, giving me fortune four, one up, giving us a total of fortune five, and this is gonna be, give me dim gems. Give me dim gems, right? That's what we're going to rename this bad boy. And now we have a fortune. I didn't rename it. Oh, I didn't rename it, but it still gave me the... Oh, man. I was hoping it would rename it. But anyways, we still got what we want. Uh, we got the fortune. Uh, you know, for, for what it is, it's going to be called Gimme Demores. And so we should be able to take this now and break more stuff. I did have to break a little bit of alarm here. But... Um, for example, I'm going to go ahead and pop two of these off and we'll just see kind of if this works. Um, so not only did I get this, which gives me the loot, uh, the fortune, I also got looting, which will kind of help us with our mob farm. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. And so out of the two, hopefully we get that bonus and I got three out of the two. Doesn't seem like much. But over the time, like if I go and break all of these now, which I probably could, we don't have the max. Um, if I was to level up uh, this one more, I think this is the max that I can get. So if I did level this up to five, then I would be able to get that. But it's going to require four more levels to be able to do that, to get that 64. But we would end up with two plus giving us a total of six fortune which is the best I think you can get in this pack uh, for ores and stuff. So yeah, it, that'd be really, really nice. So I had to drop eight more levels on this thing, but yeah, I got the name now. So <laughs> this is definitely the gym giver. So because I'm going to get into Catalyst, that's something that I'm gonna be working on real soon. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. I need to get all the way up here because I am going to be breaking all of my Liar Mirror Ore and I'm gonna be breaking all my uh, Biniotype. So, yeah, wish me luck. All of this ore, I don't really know how much it was, but how many ore there are. But we should get quite a bit from this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure this should grant us uh, quite a bit. I can't even get up there. All right, so let's go. Oh, boy. And then this, I'm going to break down this section. Oh boy. We're gonna keep going. Keep going. This. Oh, this is gonna be quite a bit, I bet. This is so much broken. I mean, we're gonna be able to definitely get more of this back because I mean, we've only done 50 runs, right? Look at all of this we just got though. Um, now our bag is going to be the one that shows all of it. Oh man, the Lamir, we didn't get as much out of it as I was hoping, but we got tons of Beniotite gems. Wow. That's ridiculous. Oh wow, and there's even more up here. Oh man, I need to activate my magnet just to make sure we get everything out of this. Because yeah, there's still some that just end up bouncing all over the place. So now I get to show off this description table. So, um, there's a few things that I need to make. And let's see, catalyst. So I'm needing to make a few catalysts. So this is going to require, I mean, several of these. And this is really why I popped all these. Um, let's do 16 each. And let's hope that, yeah, we can easily make all of this. 
And I'm going to make just a bunch of these. As many as I can make. I'm going to make them right now. Okay. So each one of these has its own specific thing on it. Um, and what we can do is we can use our crystals now inside here to kind of see what each one of these do. Um, so we can just instantly by putting a crystal, a single crystal in, I can now go, oh, that's what all of this is going to look like. Um, so we see we got speedy, fast, and this is guildy, unlucky, which is kind of awful. Um, simple and unlucky, trivial and hard, which is cancels each other out. Um, indestructible, interesting. Um, extended, inert, fast, phoenix. Um, that's just on that crystal. So when we put this one in, we should get some other stuff that's different. So this one's going to be gilded always, which is really nice. But the thing is, we can combine all of these. So if we get something that I really want, like if I want gilded on this, and it gives us faster and difficult, I could potentially put easy on it with withering on it, which would be kind of gross. Um, this one has personal space and healing. So not all of these are great, right, per se. Um, let's see, is that the same? This is gilded, poisonous, fast, um, healing, fragile, super healing, and hard. Uh, that would be probably not too bad. Extended. So yeah, this is just a way for me to see these a little bit easier. Now, if I don't like any of these, uh, we could put them together and re-roll another thing. So, yeah, that's something. This one actually gives lucky and raging. Raging's not good, but it gives us hunger, but that's lucky. And there's gilded. So, yeah, putting these things together could create a giant monster, uh, but it could also benefit us uh, over time. So, I'll definitely be checking a few of these as we go. So like I said, we can take these catalysts and believe it or not, we can combine it with uh, the Alexandrite and uh, pop it over here. And I have this one, which is indestructible and trapped. I don't really like trapped. And this is faster, which takes time off her vault. I don't really want these two. I can combine them together to generate a new one. And this is going to have speedy on it and is going to give us two random negative modifiers along with speedy. Um, Speedy gives us plus one speed, and you can see we get difficult in freezing and so on and so forth. So we can use this to definitely tell. I like this. I like this. Eventually, catalysts are apparently the way to go. So we will be using catalysts more and more as I progress further on. So I did find a combination that actually works quite well. So right here we have the vault crystal and this, which is horde and rotten. Rotten does nothing for us, and horde gives us plus two set of gilded chests. So that is better than Gilded. Um, now, to be able to nearly insta-break Gilded Chest, I believe I can put this Vault Paxel here with, uh, the un uh, with the efficiency there. And I can put this on here. And that will give me efficiency. But I almost wonder, can this break the chest as well instantly? Hmm. All right, I'm just going to go with this. I think this is going to be fine um and yeah i know this will eventually break i do have another book we can always go hunting for more i'm not that concerned um so this is going to need a few more levels and we are off to the races right here this is going to be a pretty good vault um with it being cooperative i i don't know it always feels like the cooperative vaults seem to have a higher chance of being a scavenger vault but i'm not too concerned I'm going for all of these Gilded Chests, and I'm hoping that I can insta-break. That is what this is going to be all about. I am super stoked for this. So, I'm going to get my gear on, and we're going to get ready to do our first vault. Oh, and I can't forget. Uh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to save my key until we roll something that gives us a lot of luck in the vault. You know what? I'm going to save my key for that day. That should be, yeah, that'll be worth it. All right, I'm stoked. This is going to be my first level 50 vault. Let's open this up. Oh, I am kind of nervous because they could also be fairly dangerous. Uh, there, Yeah, things could things could be dangerous. Oh, I might actually want to make sure my backpacks are clear as well. That might help a little bit. Oh, goodness. You know, what? while I'm here, um, one thing that I do want to grab is a totem. Just in case. That totem may save my life. You never know. Let's do this. Yep, I was perfectly, I was right with the scavenger vault. 
Was I not right? Oh my goodness. So one thing I'm gonna try and do, so they are still a little tricky to break the chests, but the gilded one should be a little bit easier to, to definitely go through now. But yeah, now that we have this, oh yeah, new mobs are gonna be spawning by the way. New mobs spawning. Notice zombies, or, or notice the husks. Yeah, there's gonna be husks spawning. That's a thing. So yeah, honestly, in this, I'm gonna be completely ignoring everything but those. Yeah, notice how fast those chests end up breaking. That's insane. Oh, another problem. So another problem that I will definitely encounter, like I just encountered with this one, is if there is any type of loot in it from the scavenger vault, it will not insta-break it. So I will still have to pop into it. Which is kind of unfortunate, honestly. Kind of unfortunate. Oh, bunch of monsters. Oh yeah, we're starting to get runes, I'm noticing. Runes are one of those things that uh, I definitely knew was coming. So, yeah. That's a thing I gotta now prepare for. Also, the vault size is different. So the vaults are a bit bigger. So something I also have to account for. All right, and these guys have, okay, they have stars on their name. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that means they're harder. Okay. Yep, they seem a bit harder. It's so easy to break these. It's so good. I've never seen this before. All right, let's hope there's a bunch of chests here. So now that I can't go north. I think this is a time. Yeah, three minutes off. I will take it. Oh, we can't mine those. Wow, that gave me nothing for the time. Pretty awful on those. And just like that, I got about three minutes or so left. And I'm trying my best to just nab up as many of these chests as possible. Oh boy. I mean, this is pretty awesome though. Like <laughs> all these gilded chests, be able to insta break gilded chests like that is, is pretty sick. With about two minutes remaining, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I guess, clear out these hallways. And yeah. Well, and just like this, I'm out. We didn't completely finish everything, so we didn't, uh, you know, get a boss crate or anything like that, but... Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, and we also ended up rolling something pretty sick that I've seen. This right here, a common plus. Um, so that was really nice. Definitely a bit more stressful, I think. Yeah, things felt a bit stressful. And then, well, like, vault helmets? So we were running more gear, which is really nice. And we definitely should probably open 
this said gear. I'm gonna get all diamonds too. So gotta throw my hat on for this. Uh, let's go ahead and identify all of this gear. <laughs> There's so much to identify. Oh boy. So that's done its rounds. Throw all of this down here. And then we'll roll the sword last. There's so much going on. Oh, can I not roll that one? I have to wait. Oh, it is rolling. Ooh! Already rolling some good stuff. And then last but not least, we'll roll the sword. Oh, fingers crossed for something really good. This will be a nice upgrade if it is. Soulbound. Oh, but it has two levels on it. Okay, and we also got a rare set of leggings. Anything else that's like just pops out as rare? Um, I don't think I see anything else. So, oh, this is plus three health though. Right here. This looks pretty darn good for leggings. Yeah, it's already better than what we have. It has plus two health and is it also has two level ups on it and requires level 42. So we should be good there. Anything else that pops out? Not really. Other than this sword, which is 8.44 damage, is common and could potentially roll something good. Well, I decided to go ahead and upgrade my pants and my helmet. And uh, yeah, that's gonna mean my armor set, yet again, looks different. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do think I want to go ahead and sh maybe change the colors because during that vault run, we ended up getting quite a few things, uh, quite a few of the runes per se. So what can we do with these runes? Well, we could combine them all together and make rainbow runes. Um, so I don't know if I ended up getting every single rune, but we can find out. I don't think you need every single one to make this. But did we get enough to make the rainbow runes? We did. So what I can do with this now is I can take all of our current gear and I can apply a rainbow rune effect, I believe, to pre-existing ones. Yes. And all of our gear now is going to have a rainbow effect. I just need enough experience. I know you I know you desperately want to see it. I wish we had a mirror mod. But there it is. Oh, that's right. We're RGB'd up. Not only that, but my pickerang, I went ahead and switched over. And my sword, I went ahead and switched over. Oh, it's so good. I could even technically make the idol that I currently have that way, but. This idol might become the new idol. It has slowness immunity, and depending on what we get on it, may depend on uh, whether or not I decide to use it. But, oh, everybody's making jokes. Is this RGB chosen? I mean, we, we're multicolored now. And I have a horn on my head. A there's a horn sticking up above my flower. Th yep. You want to see it even closer? Like, take a look at this. There is a literal horn on my head. <laughs> two horns, actually. Oh, goodness. Well, I can't fit too much epicness in one video, so you guys are going to have to wait till the next video, of course. But, guys, of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to be a huge thanks going to Dark Gremlin <laughs> TM. Thank you so much for your amazing support. And, of course, guys, do not forget to check out the merch website. All you gotta do is go to chosen.store. It is super easy to get to. And also, if you're interested in joining the community and hop it over on the Discord and just hanging out, because believe me, I do hang out on the voice channels. I'm in the voice channel right now, literally recording this video. It's, uh, yeah, I, I do stuff like that. Be sure to check that out. All you gotta do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect and join this amazing community. And of course, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Click that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to do. And it helps this channel out tremendously. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you did it, well, the dislike button is kind of there. So you can still click it if you really dislike this video. But of course, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.